Hello guys, Ivan here and this is Mercedes AMG GLB 35 formatic. And so this is the largest 35 model uh, at the compact level of the AMG. nice you can see the vertical slats in the front grille this is the key fob for this vehicle new style of black key fob and you can see how massive this car looks for its size this is the largest platform you can see the daylight running stripes we have multi beam LED headlights the best one which you can get Power domes on the bonnet, the hood, AMG logo, Mercedes badge. Alright guys, so in this car we have 2.0 liter 4 cylinder engine and this car produces 306 horsepower, 225 kilowatts, 400 newton meters of torque and can spring from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in only 5.2 seconds. The top speed is 250 kilometers per hour, 155 miles per hour. So. What more do you need for a family? I think that this is enough of power. Many, uh, many people have uh, like a, a lot slower cars for a family. So I think it's, it's plenty of power. Even if you have a whole family, maybe, maybe if you load up uh, stuff there, etc. Maybe it will not be 2.5.2, uh, but maybe it will be 5.5 or, or uh, yeah, stuff like that. So. Uh, you will have enough power uh, I'm uh, confident about this all right guys so let's start this car and if you like this video then don't forget to like this video comment down below uh, what do you think about this car or just say hello Ivan and uh, yeah I will be glad to respond to as many comments as I can we have also night package on this car so the window trim is black and also here the front splitter so looks really really good i think this is a uh, the best best compact car for uh, for a family larger than the gla definitely a lot larger take a look here this is the the glc not an amg but uh, almost the same size as you can see really really similar size actually inside in the interior the GLB is even larger than the GLC and it's newer so yeah we have turbo formatic on the front fender we have black alloy wheels matte black with the silver around them and we have silver AMG calipers ventilated brakes and these are Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. Tire size is 255, 40, 20 inch. We have also black mirrors. So this is how it looks from the rear. We have a lip here on the 50 door, which is in high gloss black. It's, it has a re reasonable size, so it doesn't look hideous. It looks uh, actually very sleek, nice. I will show you now from the distance how it looks. I actually really like how this looks. It should look like a family car, like a, it basically looks like an estate which is more higher up. And also it resembles uh, the higher brother, actually the largest uh, SUV which offers uh, the Mercedes-Benz and also the AMG. And that's the GLS, we can see it there. So. Let's go there and remember this, how it looks. So this is the GLS. Not an AMG, but still. Can you see? It's similar, actually. The proportions and also the lights are similar. And also, overall shape looks similar, very similar to the GLS. This is a 
twice as huge as the GLB. But still, GLB it's uh, pretty cool what, for what it is for the compact for the compact uh, model. We have black exhaust tips, uh, two exhaust tips for the 35 version. This is the most powerful variant of the GLB. We have this shoulder here, so you can see this car looks muscular. Maybe you remember the Mercedes had a model, not an AMG, but Mercedes-Benz model had a model which was called the, G the GLK. Well, this looks like to me like a modern version of the GLK actually. So yeah, I actually like this way more than the GLK. So we have two cameras for the assistance systems and here on the fuel cap you can see the recommended tire pressures these can also have uh, 21 inch wheels so these are not the largest ones and it's quite loud here but you can see sirens but yeah this is what it is <laughs> in the epicenter so guys this is the interior of the GLB MG Performance steering wheel here in full Napa leather and these are the seats here and the headrest is separated from the seat we have red seat belts so I think this is a great car because uh, if you, if you need space for a family, but also you want some excitement from a car, you want a car which makes noise, which is fast, which is uh, basically fun to drive. Take a look here, the panel roof. It has two sections, but only this one opens, obviously. And you have also this part for the arrow. And the headroom here is crazy, you have so much headroom here. I'm not even joking guys, so the headroom here is absolutely huge. We have uh, memory seats, full electric seats, heated seats, you can get also ventilated seats. We have a carbon fiber weave here as a, as a decor. And this one is a little bit different to the A-Class and CLA, this, this chrome part in the door handles. We have also Dynamica here with red stitching and as I said this is the MG Performance steering wheel in the full nap leather here flat on the sides flat on the bottom and absolutely gorgeous car so here if you go into the sport setting you can see we can set it like this from a comfort mode and also the super sport this is my favorite, this is only available for the for the AMG. We have Burmester sound system as well here, also here in the doors. This is the Burmester logo, one of the best hi-fi system. So really, really nice car for a family. As you can see, this has integration of the AMG the features inside of the Mercedes-Benz uh, MBUX. You can also close here the panorama roof you can also open it only for the ventilation if you prefer that if you push this button to the top see only only for the ventilation so it's also good two zone AC also we have carbon decor here on the dashboard 10.25 inch screens so really really good so the storage space here in the glove compartment it's quite deep actually you have wireless charging for a phone you have two cup holders and this trackpad uh, which you use to operate the MBUX for the park turning buttons for the car settings navigation map radio media telephone and here you have a manual transmission button traction control off and this is AMG uh, right control so this is adjustable suspension so you can see here you can have it in sport sport plus or in comfort we have also here the armrest with two USB-C ports 
So guys, what is great about the rear seats, you can move them individually. So this one can be more forward and this one more backwards. You have uh, rails here. So depending how much space a passenger need, you can customize this. We have also here the Burmester logo and you can see there the rubber the trim. So this one, this part will be clean even during winter. So that's really good. Can you see the rubber here? So that's what I was talking about. So this is the rubber. There is also second rubber for the sound isolation. You need to slam doors because they are they're very solid and they have this, this rubber. So yeah, that's better to do it like that. So this is view of the front from the rear. And yeah, very, very nice panel roof here. And you can see here also this seat. So you can move it like that. So for my knees, I have uh, just enough space. And here, underneath, you have a toggle where you can move this actually a more front, like this. So this is the most uh, forward position of the rear seats, where I actually don't really have a space. Now this is the most backward, so I have more space here. And I think this is the most forward here. No, actually no. So this is the most... Uh, forward position of the seat. You can see this is like my hand. It's quite <laughs> quite a big difference actually. You can also fold this like this but you need to move this. Okay so now you can see here you have a boot so you can move this more forward and then it's straight here with this part. And uh, in the boot you have actually two level floor as you can see, so you can make it uh, so it's even, uh, it's straight from uh, from the seat to the to the boot. And boot is huge here, very 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 big. So very very practical car actually if you think about this. You can also fold this if you want individually. So I think this is a really great car for a family. And also, you can you see there is different angle. So you can vary angle uh, here of this. So if you press this, if you push this and press it back, then you can make it more like a, towards the back, more comfortable we can say. And if you don't, you can make it like this, if you like it more straight. And the difference is also like my palm here. So really good, really good practicality. I really like this. Actually, very good. Very good family car, guys. Very, very good. You have here also the net for the storage. Uh, AC here. USB-C ports. Some little storage. So, how, how great is it? You have light here. Okay, guys, so above my head, I have like this much space. That's like uh, 8 centimeters, I would say. So enough space for me. I'm 187 centimeters or 6 feet and uh, 2 inches. Really, really good. Also, you can get this as a 7-seater. So that's, uh, that's up to you. If you need 7 seats, then uh, you can have it like that. So that's also a good uh, option to have. Okay, guys. So now we can check out the boot. Store here something so good is electric so can you see here how huge is this it's really really big sometimes you just need a practical car right and because not every family can drive in a, in a coupe because you need so many things to carry around so for this reason I think this is a, a absolutely fantastic choice you have this carpet, this is just from a dealer. And I think you can uh, position this uh, to, to have it like this here. So that's the difference here. And also you can store something here. And also some net here. 
So I actually really like this car for what it is because the beauty of this car is inside of it. So you can have also here the, the seven seat options. So two seat seats would be in the trunk, but that's, that's, <laughs> but that's only for uh, small kids, uh, definitely not for uh, adult per adult people. So we have subwoofer here for the Burmaster and some other stuff uh, for the safety and yeah, basic stuff. So that's about it for this review guys. Let me know what you think about this car for the GLB35. I think it's the ultimate a compact family car and if you like this video then don't forget to like this video comment down below and what do you think about this car or just say hello Ivan and uh, yeah I will be glad to respond to as many comments as I can and guys have a wonderful day stay safe and I will see you soon in the next video